This video is about Bootstrap Studio and adding a poll to an existing website. So what I mean here is uh, this website, which is uh, my, uh, me and my wife's, a very important message as well about uh, ME CFS. Um, and what I want is a, con um, a poll on one of these, uh, well, it's going to be another page, okay? Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it through Bootstrap Studio and what I'm going to use for that is something called Poll Maker. Now I've never known, I don't know anything about this site un until today. Uh, there's a few of these type of generator things, uh, but this seemed quite nice and easy to use. So anyway, what I would do is go into Bootstrap Studio and I'll go to um, Columns, okay, and I'll do, get off the, um, one row, three columns. Okay, so we put that in the center. All right, so we're going to put the the uh, poll in the center there. Okay, um, I think that would be the best idea for that. Um, so the way I would do this is I would just convert to HTML and I just put the custom code. And I would just put that as uh, columns two. So I hope you can see that in the in the thing there. Two there where it says four. I'm going to put that to two. All right, apply that. All right, so you got the two there. And now I'm going to put this one here, which is where our uh, poll's going to go. Convert to HTML and edit code. And that's going to be, um, I'm going to put in, I think I'll put eight for that. Oops, I kind of put eight because that's a zoom function. Okay, I'll put uh, I'll put six in. I think for that one. Okay, so I'll apply that, and I'll go back to this one here. Put uh, put three in there. I think. Okay. Okay, so that. Uh, um, and this one here that hasn't taken that for some reason. I should. Oh yeah. Okay. So right now I'm going to put this in as three as well, so to align them all up, if you like. Okay. So that makes twelve. Right. Apply there. Okay. So there's a nice thing. So you want this here. Okay. Um, I'm just going to in the um, styles. Just going to put in where it says body I'm just going to put the color background color for this just for now is going to be yellow and the reason why it's going to be yellow that's not a very nice yellow that really is it um just see if I can get something a little bit hmm, meh. well that'll be I'll just show what this is like at the moment Okay, um, when it's when you say yeah, well this is this is for something called Gilbert syndrome. Um, there's a lot on Facebook uh, about this at the moment. Um, it's something I suffer from, and some people and doctors and medical professions don't think there's symptoms with it, but a lot of people do. Um, so what I'm going to do this is why the reason for the poll. Okay. So, right, go to the poll. So you, what you do is you go to pollmaker.com, all right? Put all the um, all the things in the description, all the URLs in the description. You have to sign up to, to do this, but it's, everything's free and that, okay? Um, just knock that down there. Okay, so right, you've got a question, okay? And the question goes in here. I'm saying, for me, this is, uh, does uh, your... Gilbert, uh, Gilbert syndrome cause symptoms. Okay, right, that's the question. Now the type the answer there is yes and no. Okay, I'm going to put two poles on this, but I want, you only need to see the one just to show what uh, what there is. Right, the next one that's the question. Now themes. 
Okay, so you can have all these themes here that uh, that's with this generator thing. Now I'm going to go for this one because it's the color most likely. What G, uh, what GS is is a little problem. So uh, yellow for the the uh, yellowy orange will do. Okay, right. So now you have settings and you can. They don't really need to be change there for now share okay so here you got share so you can do Facebook Twitter and all the rest of it okay but I'm gonna embed this and I'm gonna embed it into this okay so you go control and copy that or control C okay so we come back to this here and um, we're gonna just put in control V okay apply that and there's your poll okay right okay for that and if we just look at this here right that's your poll and that looks quite good I think and it's going to be responsive hopefully yes so that really looks quite good so that's really the basics of of this uh, video um, and when I'm going to show, you know, I'm going to put the, the web web address so you can actually see it for yourself. The other things, as I say, that it's going to be already um, on the existing website. Um, other things, when you you if you wanted something like this and you just wanted a poll page on your own, it's always good to have call of actions to get you back to home page for your visitors and stuff like that. That is something that. Um, is necessary um trying to find word drop on here is God, I, honestly i know i've gone on about this a million times before i really really just wish they would sort that out it's 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 such a stupid thing that, that i don't have um so underneath here you could have something like um you know a button and you just have the closing tag for that as well button all right okay so you got uh in there you put um uh, back to home page all right so just apply that okay it's up there on the right hand side so there back to home page so you see what I mean by that is that you, you're actually doing a call of action back to home page and what you would do that uh, I'll, I'm going to tidy this up but I'm just letting you see what, how you could put in a uh, poll and stuff like that and just a few tips on you know like getting back to uh, you know the you know, index HTML or wherever you want to be I'm going to put two actually on this but I'll, I'll show you that and I'll put the web address up and so you can see exactly what I've done. Here you would have to put in ahref equals in index dot html and you know and then the like sort of here and the a would go here close tag slash a right there okay apply that and again you see that's gone there and that will get you back to your home page okay so um, as I say I'll put the address and everything like that up and to show you exactly what I've done um, this is going to obviously work online offline it's it's no good um, so yeah again um, I'll see you in the next video okay thanks for watching and thanks for listening